Hey everybody, Carla here and still transitioning from the Juice Fast. Still transitioning from the Juice Fast. You gotta make sure that we're taking our time during this process or you could get jacked up intestinally and no one wants that. So, at this point, you should be graduating from juices, smoothies, and broths to solid food. And if you're transitioning into a raw food lifestyle, then you're thinking about salads and soft salads, like fruit salads and that kind of thing. Um, also adding some leafy greens to your salads. And if you're like me and you like nuts in your salad, like almonds or sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, all that other good stuff, what I want you to do first is soak your nuts. And I know that sounds a little graphic, but it's true. Soaking your nuts is going to make sure that the enzymes come alive in them and that they're soft enough, palatable enough to take into your digestive system. Now you're still gonna chew, 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 and then chew some more. But I want you for those hard things that could get stuck in the folds in your intestines, I want to make sure that you're taking really, really good care. That also goes for your chia seeds. I am in love, in love with chia seeds and I put them in almost everything. However, what I do is I take like a third of a cup of chia seeds, throw them into a mason jar, fill that mason jar with water, or it's probably about three quarters of the way full with water, and then let that soak into a chia gel. And then I can add that to everything because the chia gel is gonna be much easier on your system than regular old chia seeds would be. So that's my advice today is to soak your nuts. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about inspiration. Now, for those of you who go through the process of doing your juice fast or juicing every day, you get to this point where you, where you think you kind of know what you want to look like. And for me, it's been hard for me to visualize what my end goal is until the other day. The other day, uh, a friend of mine, Navet Folks, had posted this video, and I, that is also another video that's been flying around the internet, of this 70-year-old black woman who is a raw vegan. Now, she just became, her name is Annette Larkin, and she just became, well, not just, but became a vegan when she was in her 30s, and has proceeded to grow her, all her own food, and she juices, and she's raw, and it's just... The woman looks tremendous. She's 70, but easily looks like she's in her mid-30s. Her skin, her body, everything. I was just like, oh my God, this woman looks phenomenal. And it made me think about what my end goal is. Now, it, you haven't seen my mother. My mother is Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. She's one of those mothers that you parade around men that you date like, yeah, mm -hmm, this is what I'm gonna look like. <laughs> and, and I love that, so I have good genes. However, I wanna make sure that my genes are continued to be as good as they can possibly get by eating raw. And it was watching this video and a whole bunch of other signs that have come to me lately, different videos and different things that people have said, um, postings, that make me really understand that this is the lifestyle for me. It is kind of reignited my inspiration because I choose to be that healthy. I choose to look that awesome when I'm 70. I choose to feel that amazing and flexible. Um, because one of the things that really struck me about this woman's video was the contrast from how she looks to how her husband looks. Her husband decided that he didn't want to go raw and he supports her in all that she does, but he decided he didn't want to go raw and you can see the difference in him. He is overweight. You see the, the kind of, he's got high blood pressure and you can see the illness in him, if, you, if I want to say it that way. You can see the difference, the clear, unadulterated difference in his body and hers. So it's a way that has shown me why I choose to do this. And, you know, I have talked about in earlier videos that my grandmother passed away and she passed away when she was in a nursing home and she had all these illnesses and I'm just not trying to be about that. But to see this woman who is the picture of health at her age and she's vibrant and beautiful and 
that is what I choose to be. So it was this shot of inspiration for me to see this video and to just kind of follow the other signs that have been hitting me in the face lately to say, no, really, this is your path. It's not, you know, I, I know that I'll talk about incorporating some cooked food into my life because um, I love quinoa and I love quinoa. Um, but for the majority of it, it'll be raw. It'll definitely be all plant-based and, uh, and that video showed me why. Because that's how I want to look when I'm 70. I don't know, that's why I want to look when I'm 40, <laughs> you know what I mean? So check back in with yourself to see what your inspiration is and see if you can get those pictures that are readily available to you so that you don't forget why you're doing what you're doing. And I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, soak your nuts. I'll see you later.